Hey, welcome to Statistics My Passion. Here we are discussing the MST004 Statistics Biostatistics 2 assignment and uh, the 2023 PGDAST course. And the question is a standard whether the following statements are true or false. Given reason in support of your answer, so here are the five questions are here A, B, C, D, E. The value of sensitivity of the following results of diagnostic test is 0.85 and the disease is here, present and absent. And the second question is the for the following cohort study, the relative risk for the lung cancers among smokers is 3.5. Third one is the logit uh, link function is log minus log 1 minus 5. And we next one is we define three indicator dummy variable for a regressor variable with three categories and the last one is the left uh, censoring occurs whenever the exact time of the occurrence of an event is not known so we are providing here the um, uh, all the assignments in a pdf form and uh, if you want all the assignments uh, you can contact me on my whatsapp now which is showing on your screen below which is 900-936-8238 thank you so much for watching this video So here we are discussing the question number 7 of PGDST course MST004 Biostatistics Paper 2 and 2023 The question number 7 before starting this question uh, I want to share something we are providing the paid assignment uh, in a PDF form so you can contact me on my whatsapp number and we are also providing the coaching is for the PGDST so you can contact me on my whatsapp number the nine double zero nine three six eight two three eight and uh, if you so now the question number is uh, seven is describe the censoring and the differentiate between the different types of censoring with the help of the example with are not considered in block four or MSCs zero zero four so we have to um, describe the examples uh, of censoring in the um, and differentiate between the different types of censoring and now the second one is the study was conducted on 185 patients aged more than 45 years which are followed until the time of death and up to uh, 10 years so whichever comes first the patients have different covariates age gender systolic blood pressure smoking total serum cholesterol and diabetes the objective of this study is to determine which covariate influences the survival time and analysis is uh, conducted to investigate differences in all cause mortality between men and women participating in the study suppose we obtain the following results after applying the cox regression hazard model analysis so here we are risk factor age gender systolic blood pressure smoking total serum cholesterol diabetes obtain hazardous hazard uh, ratio and interpret the results find the 99 percent confidence interval for the hazard ratio and test whether the covariates are significant or not at one percent level of significance so here are the three questions are here now uh, the if you want all these answers uh, and if you all solve a sign in in the pdf form you can contact me on my whatsapp number so uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you and uh, thank you